guys, what's happening? It's Dean from Electronic Sounds. Today we're going to try to record some chords out of the layer synth for iPad into Beatmaker 3. What we'll do is we will go and load the layer synth here. This is uh, currently my favorite synth on iOS. I think it sounds fantastic. The quality is really unmatched in my opinion. Okay. Let's see if we can maybe go to the keys section. Maybe the pads rather. That's really big. Let's try this one for now. Okay. So to record some chords, guys, we will I have a chord progression that I'd like to use. I don't know if you can read that, but it's C sharp minor seven to G sharp minor seven to A major seven to a B major six sus four. And we're gonna try to accomplish this here in Beat Maker 3 by adding a new audio track. Okay. And we're gonna click the one here. And we're gonna click audio input and we're gonna tell it to record from layer. So we're going to choose internal and we'll choose layer. So now any output that's coming out of the layer synth will be recorded on this audio track. And I'll just hit the record arm button here. Okay. Um, let's see, we're set at 120 BPM. That's probably pretty good. And what I'll do, guys, is in the chords mode here, we know our first chord is going to be a C sharp minor 7. So if I choose in chords mode, harmonic minor seventh, and if I hit the note C sharp, that's playing a C sharp minor seventh chord. I think I like the higher octave for this. And then the next chord we would want would be the G sharp minor seven. So if I hit a G sharp, well, harmonic minor seventh is chosen in chords mode, it's gonna play the G sharp minor seven. Okay, and our next chord is an A major 7, so harmonic major 7th, right, and it's an A, okay, and then we have a B sus4, so down here at the end I could choose sus4, and if I hit a B, then we're playing a B sus4 chord. Alright, I've chosen a different preset on layer. This is in the factory pads section, and it's uh, preset number six. I can't really pronounce it, but Fretz Resen or something to that effect. Uh, it sounds really nice uh, with our chords here in Beatmaker 3. Okay, so we're going to try to record that to an audio track now, and we've armed our audio track here, and we've told it to record from layer. Okay, so if I just hit record and go over and play the chords that we need, we'll have that on this audio track and I can uh, chop that up. Actually, we don't need the click going the whole time. Okay, cool. So now we're recording and we're recording anything I play onto that blank audio track, right? So the first thing we need is a C sharp minor seven chord and we're set to minor seventh and here's the C sharp. I'll let that delay out all the way so we record the entire uh, tail of the reverb and the delay going off on that one. our G sharp harmonic minor seventh and now we need an A major seventh so I'll choose major seventh and I'll hit an A make sure to let that ring out all the way before we change anything okay we'll go all the way down to sus4 and we need a B sus4 this time
Okay. Make sure we get that ringing out all the way there. And if you look here, you'll see that we have four chords on our audio track. And we'll go ahead and start chopping those up now. We'll take note of the name of this audio here. It's named it uh, with the session and the date because we didn't, you know, save anything yet with the name. So it's just labeled it, you know, the session and today's date. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start by removing the MIDI that it recorded uh, from the layer track. We'll go ahead and click remove there. And we'll bring this up. We'll go to the sampler page and on the plugin tab, We'll click the three dots and we'll unload that plugin. We'll go back to the sampler page and remove ourselves from keys mode. Now, if we go into our browser here and we go into the documents and we go into the sessions and um, rather, excuse me, um, if we, here we go, in the sessions, right? And here's the recordings. I've done some testing earlier, and unfortunately we can't see which one is which, but I'm guessing it's gonna be this one here. And we would drag that four times, because we have four chords to trim out. And there are the four chords. And we have this on each of the four paths. So I'll go in and I'll trim out each of those four samples. A nice way to do this might be to just edit and re, you know, relabel these uh, samples properly with their actual chord names and whatnot. So if we just start trimming this stuff out. I've got the zero snap on. It's on by default, but that can sometimes thwart you. So you'll need to pay attention as you're doing your editing here. Let's see what it sounds like if we normalize these. It sounds pretty good. I like to do a little, a little bit of select at the end and do a fade out. Even if you don't hear a click, this way, you know, it's just that you're always sure that you've got a really smooth fade out at the end. And um, at this point, we'll click the three dots up here, and we can just save in our main sample directory. We can call this, like, layer. Um, and we know that this is a uh, CC sharp minor. 7. Okay, so it's a layer C sharp minor 7. And we just saved that in our main sample directory. And we can move on to the next one. And just start getting our trim on. Now, let's see here, if we clear this bank, right? And in our documents, if we go to our main samples folder, we have the four chords there. Now you might wanna select those four chords, edit, select, and choose move, and then store those, you know, wherever it is that you're storing your samples inside of the BeatMaker 3 file structure there. Now that we've recorded the chords and edited them and stored them inside a directory of our choosing inside of BeatMaker 3, we can get as creative as we'd like with them.
So let me go ahead and load up a drum kit. I'll load my free copper drum kit, which you can get for signing up to my email list. Oops. Cool. And let's see here. There's two uh, sections of 16 sounds. And if we go to the very first section uh, with clear pads that are available, we can go ahead and go back to uh, wherever you've stored those samples inside of BeatMaker 3. And we can go ahead and just drop those onto the pad. So we started with a C sharp minor 7. We'll drop that on. And then the G sharp minor 7, the A major 7, and the B sus 4. Sounds pretty nice. All right. Okay. Let's see here. So if I just leave the tempo at 120 and we put the click on record back on so that we can hear the metronome, let's just hit record and see what happens here. that audio from the audio. In fact, we don't need this audio track at all. We can delete this audio track because we just have the this pattern here now. If we go into pattern mode, we can see that it's four bars. So I'll remove that and drag this in. I don't know why it didn't um, swap that out for us. If we press the little button up here to tell it that we're in song mode. Cool. Right. See if we can maybe find another sound or two to put, and I'll turn my volume up just a little bit here. like a little shaker. Cool. And we can maybe scroll right up to those chords, right? Ooh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and double the length of this guy, so we'll... Push the end there, and we'll just hit repeat. We'll drag out the loop brace here, and we got two pattern twos. I'll double tech, I'll double tap rather the select button to select everything, and we'll just click merge, and we'll end up with one long pattern there. Actually, it looks like uh, if we go in, it didn't copy the stuff here, so we'll click. Uh, let me zoom in just a bit. And actually, I would like a hi-hat on the downbeat, so let's put that in. Whoops. There we go. Okay. And so let's just copy that stuff out to the second half. We'll use the select tool here. And I'll do a select, and we'll click duplicate. Oops. Undo, try again. Zoom in a bit so I can grab the notes better. Duplicate. Ugh. Put that on the five. There we go. Third time's a charm. All right. We've got a clap here, which comes in on like the last half of the last bar. So let's duplicate that. Um, was on, uh, yeah, there we go. And there we go. Ooh. Oh, didn't copy the snare over either, so we'll get in and do that. Or the kick. No worries. I must have done something wrong along the way. We can make 
make that maybe a bit easier on myself. So, duplicate. And we want this to line up with measure five. There we go. Okay. Looks like there's a extra note there on the downbeat of measure nine, and that doesn't go there. So let's remove that. There we go. Cool. Okay, so if I just hit record, we can pop these chords in. Let's see here. Check this out. punchy, dubstepy, and future bass drums with like really, really chilled chords. Okay, crash cymbal is nice. Let's put in a little bit of open hat while we're here. do that by zooming in here right and then we see our titles of the sounds here okay so here we have the clap yeah I want the clap on every other let's test that out clap Now we have the clap on every other snare, sort of pushing that forward momentum as you guys have heard me talk about uh, in some other videos. Let's put a little ride symbol in there. like that guys we have a really chilled groove here let me go back to the the chords list that we I pressed the wrong stop button I pressed the stop button on this iPad above instead of this iPad below so I stopped the filming instead of stopping the audio which is what I was trying to do so what we could do as a next step guys to push this forward is you've got you know the root notes of the track because you you know decided what the chords were you know so our root notes would be C sharp, G sharp, A, and B. A next step could be to say load up some bass patches inside of Beatmaker 3, or load up some bass one shots inside of Beatmaker 3, and try to create a bass line. Try to create some variations of these, you know, parts and arrange that out into a song inside of Beatmaker 3. But you can see just how easy it is to get some sort of chords going using, um, you know, the chords tool and to record those uh, chords onto a, a new audio track and then trim them out and get, get a groove started super quick, guys. I mean, that's a really chilled, nice groove there. So make sure you join my email list, guys, and grab this free copper drum kit if you haven't already. 32 sounds that you can write with quickly and easily. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Stay tuned for more Beatmaker 3 shenanigans.